Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome. I just wanted to do a quick scope on this Monday. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining, everyone. Thank you for inviting your followers and your friends and already releasing the hearts. Thank you so much for joining. Just wanted to do a quick encouragement on today. I pray that this blesses you all. Thank you so much for joining. So glad to have you all on today. Um, I was thinking about what I could talk about on today. And for a while, I didn't have anything. But then I heard this. So I just wanted to share this with you all on today. Again, thank you for inviting your followers and your friends. Um, I'm not going to be on here long, so I'm just going to go right into the scope. Um, the scripture... Um, well, I didn't hear the scripture itself. I heard two words and that was be still, which I knew was a scripture. So I went and looked it up and actually it's found in Psalms 46 and 10. And the full scripture says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted on the earth. Thank you so much. Um, but the main part I want to focus on for your encouragement on this Monday is the first portion of this scripture, which says, be still and know that I am God. And as I was thinking of um, what it meant to be still for the first thing I thought about was sometimes when you see kids and you see a whole lot of kids that are full of energy. And sometimes if they just keep going and going and going and going and going, you just want to be like, baby, can you just please be still? <laughs> just just be still. And spiritually, that's how some of us are. We're over here, we're over there, we're doing this, we're doing that. And it's just like sometimes we have to get to the point where we just become still. And still doesn't mean don't move. When I looked up what it means to be still, to be still means to relax, to let go, and to be quiet. These are three definitions. These aren't the only definitions. But these are three definitions of what it means to be still. Again, it means to relax. Hello. It means to let go. And it means to be quiet. And with so much going on in the world today, it is so easy to have so much going on in your mind, so much going on in your spirit, and so much going on in your life. But to be still is a decision. It's a posture that you choose. You choose to be still. You choose to relax. You choose to let go. And you choose to be quiet. But what I, what is interesting is when you choose that posture and when you choose that position, what it does, it sets you up to know that He is God. Now to know means to perceive to see and to find out. And as I was looking at this word, no, what I'm beginning to understand and what I'm learning is when you've been saved and when you've been on this journey with Christ for a while, you've come to know him in different seasons of your life by different names. But sometimes he's commanding us to be still because now he wants to know, wants us to know him a different way. He wants us to know him a different facet, a different side of him that we haven't perceived before, that we haven't seen before. And he he wants us to find out who he is in this new season of our lives. So my admonishment for you today is be still. Choose to be still. Choose to relax. Choose to let go. Choose to be quiet. Choose to surrender in a new way and in a fresh way. And it's for a purpose that you can know that he is God, that you can perceive that you can see and that you can find out who he is in this new season of your life. This doesn't discredit who he was in previous seasons, but sometimes he wants to show us a side of him that we have never seen before. And in order for us to fully embrace it, in order for us to fully accept it, and in order for us to fully recognize it, we sometimes have to be still. <laughs> We just got to be still. 
we just got to relax. We just got to let go. And sometimes we just got to be quiet. We just got to be quiet. And being quiet isn't just us closing our mouths. Sometimes being quiet is closing our ears. <laughs> Is closing our ears to hearing so much from so many different people. Sometimes being quiet is, is, is getting away, is stealing away and just really resting in the presence of God so we can know who he is or who he desires to be or who or what side of him he wants to present him or how he wants to present himself to us in this season. So I pray that this quick scope um, blessed you. Um, and, it, and, and I admonish you, you know, even if it's just a day, a week, um, if you choose the day that you fast to sometimes just be still, you know, you've put your petitions before the Lord, you've been making your de declarations, but sometimes we have so much going out, 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 out. We don't take a moment to be still and hear and relax and receive and listen to what he's saying. So I just wanted to encourage you all with this today. Again, the scripture um, that I spoke on comes from Psalms 46 and 10, and it is the first portion of this scripture. And it says, be still and know that I am God. God is really looking to show himself strong on behalf of his people but we want to make sure that we're positioned and we're postured properly so we can watch him show off. <laughs> Pray this blessed you, blessed you all. For those of you, if this is your first time, my name is Mashani Allen. I generally do um, my quick scopes on Mondays and Wednesdays at 3 um, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I generally do my teaching periscopes on Wednesdays. Um, Pacific Standard Time at 6 p.m. If you want to learn more about me, thank you so much. You can go to my website, MashaniAllen.com. I am also the author of The Beauty of Holiness, which you can purchase directly from my website, a Practical Guide to Life, Relationships, and Inner Beauty. I look forward to seeing you all in Periscope Land on Wednesday. Be blessed. Oh, thank you so much for purchasing the book. Let me know your thoughts. You can, um, my email address, you can actually, from my website, you can email me directly. So sanctify to the bone. Let me know your thoughts. Pray that you all are blessed. Oh, really? Thank you. Okay, my phone. Does not want to stop? Really? Oh, it's too hot for this. Oh.